port ring gets stolen by Sylvanas, you would really like to have a Harrison. Another thing is that this deck um, is not attacking or addressing the opponent's life. And that's also an important thing, because if you are not addressing the opponent's life, it means that um, um, it means that you don't want that he will be able to convert um, his life total into board presence. And that's why Harrison in this deck is much better than in others. Um, if it's Control Warrior, I would really like to have this in the hand. I'm not even sure whether I wouldn't like to have this in the hand, no matter what. This card is a very ugly dude against Warrior. Ugly strong. So I would nearly consider keeping Tyrion, to be honest. And with Enzot, he also wins you games. And yeah, Twilight Summoner should also be good enough. First of all, because of Enzot. But second of all, also because, um, well, he's not really bad. Like, he, he is much better against Warrior than this dude is. Unless it's Agro Warrior. But even if it's Agro Warrior, this should be fine. Oh. Ähm, ja, wir gehen doch gleich los, in einer halben Stunde. Nicht? Also? Ähm, ja, ja, klar. Ja, okay. Äh, nee, das ist, äh, oh, gib, gib mir ein Zeichen. Ähm, gehst du nicht so auf? Um, okay guys, what I just heard is, I heard that, um, <laughs> the, yeah, that it's a little bit too noisy, so we will be required to um, stop streaming. <laughs> Yeah, but that's, um, yeah, I mean, required to stop streaming or changing the room, but um, since we go to the fish market in half an hour, I think we can also just stop it before we change the room and so on. Okay, so um, that's, whew, that's pretty ugly for us. Mm, if we play this, we just deliver him a target, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, Yeah, I think so. Mm, target, but then this can also take this, right? Mm. Mm. I'm curious. Cartoon Warrior? Uh huh. Hey, what's the most? Hey, what's the most? Hey, what's the most? Should we play this regardless of this? I guess so, right? I mean, otherwise we would do nothing instead. And nothing is probably not that great. I don't mind that he draws more because we also want to play Leon Hands. So... We also play, want to play Leon Hands. Yeah, it's a little bit weird time zones. <laughs> like, yeah. So, good, good, good. But whatever. So, um, here. Um, 20, 21. This attacks this. Then he goes to 19. Then he will draw again. Then he goes to 18. So he's three cards ahead. Which means, then we will be able to play the Lay on Hands. So that he draws here more cards, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that he draws some cards more. It's basically irrelevant for us. 
And that he gets a 10 armor with these uh, sheet bursts is also pretty much irrelevant for us. What does he do now? Execute? No. That's fine. And bash? Perfect. Bash is getting him 3 armor. No, oh, that's not perfect. But if he gets 10 armor from the sheet bearers, we don't mind. We have more than sufficient or more than enough heal in this deck anyways. Um, do we have a dead turn? <laughs> like what? 2, 4, 6, 7. Oh, you must be kidding me. Uh, ooh, okay. Now, yeah, dead turn. We will, we will definitely play the healer before we have a dead turn. We could also play Peacekeeper on that one. But I don't exactly see that, especially not if we have Edric already here. So let's do this. So he is 8, 17 against 20. So now we will be able to simply play the Lay on Hands for life gain and for card draw, which is very important. So that's really cool. A Cartoon Warrior should run one or two brawls, but they will have two times the Ancient Shield Bearer for 10 armor each, which is 20 armor. One bash, which is 23 armor, probably one or two shield box, which is 28 to 33 armor. Perhaps they also run Justica, so we can assume that he will get 50, 60, 70 lives throughout the match, which is not an issue. But what I'm saying is it's important to understand that we cannot kill him by racing him or something. That's important to be understood. So we will never attack his face with any kind of weapon. Of course, in this case, we won't attack the face with a weapon. Sure, we will kill a minion, but we will also never attack the face with a 5-3 weapon or something. We should also not be considerative about our card draw because he will have shield blocks, he will play the shield blocks, which means even if we play Leon Hands, with him playing the shield blocks, he will definitely get deeper than we are in cards. So we should not worry about that at all. Um, we cannot play Edric the Pure for... for Actually, this is making attack to 1, this and this too. So all of those are making the attack values to 1, which is interesting. Um, and perhaps we should really consider to do that, because um, yes, we can swing the truce on this, which is good value. But I think this is, I mean, from just the looks, it's not good enough. Yeah, From just the looks, it's like, what, 2, 4, 5, 8, 7. Yeah. But it is mana effective. Yeah, okay, no, it's not good enough, right? <laughs> but it's not the only issue. The other issue there is that we can utilize this sword now in a very nice way um, killing the 3-3 three, three, but also getting the 2 life um, but at the same time also playing the sword before we play Tyrion yeah, that's probably the biggest issue because if you play Tyrion if you don't get stolen by Sylvanas um, if it doesn't get stolen by Sylvanas we get a big weapon and then because we never attack with uh, the face with the weapon Probably this weapon would be useless or redundant then. So I also hope that we can get, um, squeeze a little bit more. I'm not sure, to be honest. I think it's a very, very close call. It also depends on what you think about his cards. But that's also quite cool. So now look at this. So, well now, okay, that's also a good attack for us. Because he traded, not delivering damage to the face. This has to hit the board ASAP. The reason for that is Warrior has a big time, big trouble time handling him. But also if he, he cannot do whirlwind effects because then this dies. So this has to attack the Divine Shield. But also if he plays Sylvanas we will be able to make a good attack first and that's what it is about. He already just played the Harrison. And because this uh, matchup is not about life count and about life total, it's extremely beneficial to get this weapon online as soon as possible. The sooner the better. The sooner, like much better. Yeah, much much better. Because, as you can see, we already have like two dead heals, well, dead heals, but you understand the point. So, um, being able to convert the life total into board presence very early is of uttermost importance in this matchup. And uh, here's the sheet logs we were talking about. And the bash, we were talking about. And the sheet slam, which doesn't matter because now we get the super weapon. Okay.
Ja. So. Hey, what? Was? Ja. Das? das ist mein Tee, richtig, ja. Kurz. Mach's hier noch kurz. Ja. Sie, ich mach das hier noch kurz fertig. Ja. Vielen Dank. Ähm, so, oh yeah, we should play uh, Reno Jackson as soon as we can. Was? Meine Brille? Ja, die trage ich schon, ja. Hier. Um, so, what is this? Now no, I have to multitask. <laughs> yeah, here in Japan is a little bit. Hey, what? Mama's. Nee, 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 that's Papa's, ja. That's Papa's Brille. Um, so, four, six. Hey, Four, six. Okay, okay, let's do this. Okay, and now we can play this as. Because this is very important, because now we can play this as long as we can play it. Yeah. It's really. Huh? What's that? That's it? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ja. Deine Arbeit. Ich glaube, das ist deins, oder? Hier, guck mal. Das Arbeit. Mama, 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 The squad team arrived. <laughs> okay, he gets 10 armor. So should we just conclude? Um, yeah, as I said, like, um, sorry about the short stream, but, um, yeah, what is this? Oh yeah, okay, one, one more, yeah, sorry about this short stream, but, um, so, there are more important things than Hearthstone. Um, the fish market, for example, yeah? There's a tuna auction, we wanted to attend this, so that's important. Uh, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I, I really am curious about that. So, okay, last turns. Can we just conclude the last turns? Mm. So let's focus and conclude the last turns and what happened. Oh, uh, could you be healed? Uh, we should have probably played there, man. See? Crap. Uh, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. He won't play a brawl here. If he plays a brawl here, then be soaked up. Then, then be, um, yeah. Then, then it's a really good result. Okay, okay, okay. Number one, what was the attack on the 5 4? Um, the Ashbringer attacked the Harrison. Um, on a scale from 0 to 100, 85. Very, very good. Perhaps it's also 90. Very, very good. Converting life total into board presence. Then, number two, Reno Jackson to gain 17 life. What was this? On a scale from 0 to 100, it was probably a 90 on first glance, but in reality, it's probably rather a 95 or 100. Because usually in this matchup, you won't be able to play Reno Jackson for any kind of value until the very end, and the very end means in 10 or 15 turns. In this case, it's different. In this case, we just did so in a very, very great and efficient fashion. So I'm really, really happy that it happened. Like, it's truly happy. Yeah? Uh, as happy as a man can be. Okay. Um, 25, 57. Um, so he has 57, and this was also what we concluded beforehand that we will that he will probably be able to uh, get his armor up very quickly. So also very good idea not or to never attack the face with any kind of weapon. So next thing is we should not overexpand, but we also need some let's say other stuff. 15 against 11 means we can without any regrets play, play the lay on hands to deliver ourselves value as quick as possible, as quickly as possible. So we do this. We don't want to overexpand the board anyway, so it means that it's absolutely fine to do that. And we get an Nzot. Or Nezot. 2468. 
This goes. We should probably call it different than one justice because our other Murloc or our other Reno Paladin already was called one justice. Okay, it's still one justice, it's just one justice 2.0, but um, perhaps you can just call it, I don't know, final justice, whatever. Ah, but that also doesn't fit. Probably it's just one justice is fine. I mean, it's basically the Reno Warlock one justice from the standard, so of Obviously, it looks different than the normal one. Good. Um, now we get better value from Edric if you want it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, right. For the ultimate test. It's really good. Um, two, four, six, seven, eight. So we play around brawl by sending this in at least. But perhaps we don't want to do that. Oh, brawl! Yeah, then we should only do this if you want to play around brawl. Throw the attack. Mm. We don't. Uh, perhaps we play some C tech. It's rather unlikely, though, right? <laughs> it's rather unlikely. But it's also one damage we don't take. And if he plays Brawl, I think we are very happy if he plays Brawl. I think we are very happy if he plays Brawl. So that's fine. Yeah. What is about the cards? 11 against 9. Yeah, so... Oh yeah, and this also handles go holes, potential go holes, which is also very nice. Mm. Yeah, so as we talked about it, we saved ourselves one life, one life, the importance of one life, and he also plays Justica. I told you, I told you that he plays all this stuff. Okay. Ooh. So we have six taunt and we have seven in the attack. Um, two, four, six, eight, what? Two, four, six, eight, nine cards. We don't play this or something into into this. Why should we? Um, and we could silence it whatsoever, but we want to silence Savannah's. Mm. On the other hand, we can also steal and then silence. But we really want to have <laughs> silence Savannah's. Okay, so let's say this is this, and then these are... Uh, this is this. Uh, we have a 4 for overlay, and we can even steal something. So, hmm. I guess we should just do that. Hmm, could have been better. Yeah, no, no me. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I think if he brawls, it's fine. I think we don't mind if he brawls us. Or is it so much? I think it's okay. This matches this, so we have an overlay of... If we say this matches this, this matches this. Um, we have an overlay of um, 12. So, in average, let's say... Uh, Let's say an average something like this survives. We trade this against this, so he brawls 10. He brawls for plus 10. And plus 10 is okay, because in an Zod deck, um, we, want to, we want to take out his brawls. Um, I'm not sure about this. No, it sucks with Sylvanas. Mm. I would have really liked to silence Sylvanas. Mm. I was not that sure. But if he silence Sylvanas, it also means that we forfeit our turn, give him board prisons.
Hm. What a lousy cartoon. <lacht> ähm. Puh, it's not the easiest. I think we would like to... Okay. So let's see, he could have variant effects. So this is probably better to be sacrificed into this one. On the other hand, we also deal one more damage immediately. But I think, yeah, that's probably good. And... The next is... Eins, zwei, drei, vier gegen zehn. I guess we just shrink it. Ah. Probably we just humiliate it. Ah, man. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, man. Go hold. We don't want to harrison this. Ah, we want to harrison go hold. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, like, <laughs> what the fuck, um, we have many targets, it's good, I would have already killed this last turn, I don't know. We are still not brawlable, it's fine. We have so much value in this deck, it should not be a problem. We first play all the big minions, and after we played all the big minions, we play Amazot. 8 against 6 means he goes earlier in fatigue, into fatigue than we do, which is also fine. Mm. So what did we miss out? Yeah, whatever, we missed out a little bit. I guess. Oh. 
That's definitely not over expanding, so that's fine. Yeah, Doom Caller. So we have to assume that we will probably get brawled at some point again. Mm. Ah. No. So nowadays cartoons are 14-14. Perhaps <laughs> he doesn't even play Sylvanas, who knows. Mm. Yeah, probably inequality is suitable, right? Yeah, I think so. So it must be equality consecration if you play equality, right? Yeah, sure. I'm still curious about Go Hall. I think Gohol would be pretty bad for us and I, I can see him playing this but yeah no full stop I mean Gohol would be pretty bad for us I would just keep it as Gohol protection I think mm. 6 against 6 I'm not sure about the Gohol protection perhaps you should just play it <sighs> the Gohol protection how much is it worth Perhaps he doesn't even play Go Hall in this deck. Yeah. If he doesn't play Go Hall, it's horrible to keep it. And also, we don't even want to draw the card. Right? I mean, it's like six cards, five cards, Go Hall, four, three. I think we we go down too quickly. Yeah, we play this, and after this died, well, we try to play this. We can play this, but we play this. Oh yeah, boy, and that's. Good, as long as he doesn't play double brawl. Okay. Uh, yeah. We try to play anything else before we play this. That's what I'm saying, yeah? Okay. Lift insect. Oh, that's so strong. Of course we do this. If he plays the second brawl, he's lost. Eight life and and this complete discount. Hmm? Hmm. That's fine. Doomsayer. Hey the Doomsayer, that's okay. Um Do you think he has another cartoon? Unlikely. Nobody plays double two color. <laughs> nobody. Like, nobody, nobody. And um, we could play this, but then again, if we run into Brawl. But we already played the faceless. Perhaps we should just do that. But do we even want to trade this? No. Like, no, 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 no. No, yes, no. Nah. We could play. Trade, Nazot, doesn't make sense. Right? I mean, we are very happy with the insect dude. Just look at this. This insect! Seven life. Full restore. And he still is there. And is 8-3. And every turn he heals something. No, we want this guy to live. Insect. Okay. This is good. Yeah, fine. 3, 4. So he's even a little bit deeper than we are. That's okay. That's okay. I also think that he doesn't have more threats in the deck because I'm pretty convinced that he thought that double Nezot should be enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh, that's that's fine. He cannot. He can never play the monkey if he plays the monkey. Um, we will be able to do this. Um, so. Mm. What? He's healed again. Well, my theory is that he cannot deal with this. With the, yeah, you get the point, right? It will be difficult to deal with all of that. So this will probably simply go off. And if it goes off, we can decide to either put something else on the board, which we will, or we play this at some point. But he can never play the golden monkey because then we can simply play Nazat and that's it. We don't have any reducing effect, any like left. Mm. We can also gamble that he doesn't have a second brawl. It's also a possibility. I don't even know what we got in the deck. Like, is brawl that problematic? Did we already play Kern? We didn't play Sylvanas yet. So, did we play the Faceless Shambler? I don't know what we played, unfortunately. Did we play any bombs? Did you play Cam already? Uh, I cannot remember. That's a problem. Uh, perhaps we should just play it, but then we play into Brawl. I think we have to play it at some point, right? Do we? And I'm not even sure whether we have to, but I think we can. We don't play the minion because of Brawl. Uh, no, it's okay. We got Twilight Summoner, that's our Brawl protection. We got Harvest Golem, that's a Brawl protection. We got this, this is a Brawl protection. We got this, which is a Brawl protection. And we got this, which is a Brawl protection. So, And this is only viable if he really plays the second Brawl. I mean, that's also not very likely, right? Oh, well, well, not very likely, but yeah. Okay, come on. Not weapon, faceless kill and the half score. It doesn't even look that something happened. We got a uh, Ashbringer, a Cairn, a 2 1, a faceless shimber, an infested torrent. I mean, like everything good. What I'm telling you is that this is also 13, like a lot of damage on the board. Mm, okay. Uh, perhaps you should have played Baron Gedon first, because I just realized that now we <laughs> we will never be able to play him ever again. So um, perhaps you should have played him first. Perhaps it would have been something to be considered. Mm. We could hit and hit this with the Harvest Golem if you wanted. Hmm. Not sure. Perhaps you should. But then again, I mean, what is this for a threat? It's nearly no threat. Probably we shouldn't. Perhaps we should just play the Kodo. There's no AoE left, so we don't need to be afraid of AoE in any kind of form. So we play this, and we can also play this, I guess. Yeah, you could argue that we are vulnerable against whirlwind effects. And we are, in case he can reduce his life, so I would not attack 
because of potential whirlwind possibilities. In order to proc um, revenge, he would need a weapon, then he could hit, and then he could play revenge. And this is something we don't like. So, we can just keep it as it is, I think. We could have attacked with a weapon, but then again, it's not mandatory. It's fine, and it's good enough if you build the uber board, and that's it. He already played Baron Gaddon, so that's fine too. If he plays Revenge and Vermin, that's also fine. It's not a problem. If he plays the map to the Golden Monkey into Golden Monkey, he also fatigues earlier, which is also good. No. What does he? Shoot! What? He should never play this now. No way that he plays this here in fatigue position. Not even if he wants to get to the Golden Monkey. No way. <laughs> so that's basically like a concede. Uh, what is it already Lisa? 6, 10, 12, 17, 19, 24. Hmm. Uh, we could also put this like this. Mm. What is with this revenge thing? Uh, I will probably just skip. We could have brought him to 13, I think, but... No, no, like this is perfect, because we bring him to 13, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, we wait until this happens and then we can... But I also heard that one legendary is not exactly... Or two legendaries is not exactly... Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, he converted his hand and, and the deck. Okay. Not even Deathwing wins. Mm. Ah, how much? 6, 10, 15, 17, 22, 24. And he has 17, 22. So that's game. Mm-hmm. 